See, if I wasn't such a wuss with wearing contacts, I'd be able to just automatically see myself in the viewfinder, but I need to put on my glasses. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you don't know me, hi. I'm Angelica. If you like what you see and you don't want to ghost me, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell down below so you're notified every time I post. So clearly, the setup of today's video is a little different. Um, and I'm in a bikini. So I'm doing starting my little series for the summer. I have a couple more clothing hauls. Today's video, we are doing a try on bikini haul expensive versus inexpensive so i already have the first bikini on and called 437 it is from canada oh canada so i actually got this bikini last summer shout out to um 437 because there was a whole fiasco with that i'm i'll get into that for you guys but um so this is 437 this is their I'm pretty sure they're Leo top. Um, so this top was all over TikTok, Instagram. It like wraps like a dozen different ways. I got the bikini and a large on the top and a large in the bottoms. Um, originally when I was looking on the website, it said that I should be a medium. When I got the medium, it was like a G-string. And I think that I have thought I had small boobs, but I guess I don't have small boobs. My boobs are just ugh, falling out. I'm a 26 in the waist, but I am a 34 around everything else with my booty. Um, so yeah, I'll just give like a side profile because my booty cheeks are fully out in this. This is very cheeky. This isn't like wear this around your parents and stuff. This is like around the boo um but i absolutely love this bikini it is expensive i absolutely love the cut the color is super like just cute on um, my chocolate skin and again you can like tie it in so many different ways i hate that the light is going like yellow when i move forward like that's annoying anyway i have another top that i got the layla top from 437 so i'll try that on for you guys so this bad baby, I'm pretty sure it's called the Layla Top. This came out with their Cloud Collection last year. So this is like very versatile. It has like this ribbed material with a lettuce trimming. And this is also um, can, can be worn different ways. You can like put this part down and it'd be like a full bandeau. Um, you know, tan lines, not the cutest. But um, I absolutely love the material. Again, super, super soft. Um, so I, even though she's a little pricey, I like the look. I love how versatile it is. It holds the girls. I feel very secure. Like in this bikini, past the jumping test. The other Leo top one, the girls are just gonna go. Like it's more, that top is more like, you know, Instagram baddie, I want to take a picture, but this one's like, okay, I'll feel more secure going into the ocean. Like I know I can jump some waves and not like be exposed, but on to the next. Now we got this cute little number. She's blue. She's, <laughs> says she's that bitch. So this bikini is actually from Hollister, believe it or not. And I wasn't even going to walk into Hollister. Um, this past year, I've lost a whole bunch of weight and nothing fits. And I was looking for bikinis and my boyfriend was like, let's go into Hollister. I was like, <laughs> boy, I didn't even go into Hollister when I was in high school because it wasn't built for me. But these bikinis are it. So I got this bikini in a large on the bottoms and large in the top. The booty's big now, so she needs a large in everything. But um, I absolutely love how it's like bandeau. This has the ribbing material all throughout it. It is high-waisted. Um, I just personally like the high-waisted, like high thigh 
um, bikinis. I feel like that's what flatters me the most. Um, this one has way more coverage than the other one does, but it still does like show body yaddy yaddy, but not too, too much. Not like all my thought shit, but I absolutely still love this. And this is like not even half the price of the 437 one. Hold on. I'm sweating. <laughs> Me, the material isn't crappy. I'm not really scared about going into the water with it. Sorry, there's a mirror behind this. So if I'm like looking off, I'm not being psychotic or anything. I'm just checking myself out. But um, I feel very secure. It passed the booby test. Um, so when waves come hitting and crushing, crashing at me, I will be good and all set. And I bought this in store. I usually like buying my bikinis in store more. That 437 one, that was just by chance. I was like, we'll jump the gun. But most of the time, I like trying these on. So you can definitely check out your like local Hollister. They most definitely should have them in store. I don't, I think this bikini is my number two. It's not my number one. It's not my number three, but I'm pretty sure it's my number two. Like. And I'd say my 437 bikini is my number three. So we're not even to number one yet. But this is the Hollister one. Okay, now we are moving on to Forever 21. Just a couple months ago, I honestly wouldn't have had the confidence to wear a bikini like this. Um, personally, for me, I was having little tummy problems um and you know you go on instagram and you see these girls with these flat flat tummies and no butt and i no and a huge butt like you know the kardashian body and you just don't add up but i was like reading something i feel like it went viral on tiktok it's like you know you should have like a little bit of a bump or something it's to protect your ovaries so like i didn't ever want to wear anything that was like not all the way like hiding my belly button and all that stuff but honey she's thriving she said what waste so this bikini is from forever 21 this baby i hope i am able to find or something close at least um was super inexpensive i'm pretty sure the bottoms were like 18 something 18 something and then the top was like 15 um this is like she wore a itsy bitsy teeny yellow polka dot bikini. Are these dots? No, these are like squares, but it's like this picnic table, like I'd say esque um, print. Um, it has this cute little bow right here and it has the underlining for um, underwiring for the boobs. I feel really secure. Like it passed. It passes the booby test um, and the bottoms are like low rise but like high rise at the same time i absolutely love um that it has the strings as well and it's not as um cheeky as the 437 one or as the hollister one it does like cover my butt like fully but still a little side action because my booty is big <laughs> But I love this. This material is kind of, it's not as soft. 437 when you can really tell it's like high quality material feels like butter. Um, but this, it doesn't feel like that. But I know that if I go into the water, it's not going to be like, psh, and you can like see everything. Um, I would say, where does this fit in my roster? Um, I could put her at number four she is number four she's a thriving queen she could do a little bit better but she does the job and she does the job well so absolutely love this forever 21 gives me an anxiety attack half of the time when i go in but y'all are doing good on the bikinis we have entered hot girl summer it's baddie season baby so this is <laughs> oh so extra um this bikini is also from forever 21 and i think this is my numero uno the color the material the cut it's not too too showy but still tan lines won't be too bad um it is what what would you call this like um not it's not bandeau 
I don't know. She's cute. She's that bitch. I um, love the color on this. And this is a crochet material. So I feel like crochet has been very popular for um, the summer material um, wise. Um, I feel like there are a lot of crochet or at least like ribbed things that look like this. Um, it comes in this beautiful green high waisted. Um, it covers my booty. Oh, look at this. We got, I need to cut these. Things. That's the one thing I hate about Forever 21. Their tags are obnoxiously big, but I need to cut them off. Um, but it covers my butt very well. Still shows a good amount of cheek, but not too much. Like, ooh, look at that. Look at that. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> but I love how high cut it is. Um, it's not like, oh my gosh, my hoo-ha is going to fall out. Hoo-ha hoo -ha sounds a little child. My coochie? I don't know, I'm not gonna call it the V word, but either way, it looks super cute. Um, it does have the padding in here, so it's not just like Areola City, like my nips aren't to the wind. Um, so you have that a little extra um, secure. Boob test, hey. When that those waves come, she's not gonna go <laughs> Um, But I would rate this my number one. It goes at the top of my list. It's very affordable cut is perfect it isn't as versatile as the first one there hasn't been like any other bikinis comparing to that in versatility but i'd say for affordability and just getting the job done of covering me up while at the same time making me look fashionable it ticks all the boxes that we were looking for honey so this is my number one Hot Girl Summer can now commence. Um, I have a couple of accessories that I also got, so give me a second. Starting off with my accessory that I got from Forever 21's Pink. Um, camera focus, get it together, come on. Hunty, what are you doing? We need to do better, sweetie. Okay, so it's like this cute pink with like yellow and white flowers. It's just like a cute little moment. It covers my eyes a good amount, um, but she's cute. And she was like, I think she was like $5. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was like five bucks, but uh, this like sunflower, not sunflower, sun hat. I feel like all of us kids had these when, like if you're a 90s kids, we all had these at the beach and our moms would slap them on our heads and you couldn't see shit. But um, it's this cute little sun hat from Free People. I'm pretty sure this was, this is 38. Little strings and the sun can't get to me and no one can speak to me. Like just on the beach, like, oh, Sun, we can't see her. Who's the sun? We don't know. UV rays on my body, but not on my face because you do not want sun on your face. Hide your faces. I'm seeing all y'all out in the sun letting the sun hit you on your face. Skin cancer, it is a thing. Put on your sunscreen. Like what you thought this was? But um, I saw lack of, lack of colors. They were like selling, I don't even know. They were selling hats. It's a stupid amount for a hat. Just go to Free People. They got some really cute hats. If I had the monkeys or the facilities to get said hat, I wouldn't be calling it stupid. But um, personally, college girl, hot girl, summer, we're not doing that to our bank accounts. Put the money towards your books. Got it? Got it. Because we have a summer semester coming up. So I picked up this pair. It's just these cute little tortoise sunglasses. Um, I've seen them all over Amazon. You can get them. But I got these from Nordstrom Rack for, guess how much? $10. Because even though it is hot girl summer, we are not stupid with our money. We are a saving queen. We are affordable. We are not dumb with our coins. The only way you're going to have coins is if you save said coins. So... Wait, I want to see this with my hat. Oh my god, whose mom am I? <laughs> I look like a mom. I look like a hot mommy though. But anyways, that's all that I have kids. And if you like what you saw, um, again, don't forget to subscribe, click that bell notification, and oh my gosh, before I wrap this, shout out to all of you guys. There's 151 of you subscribing little babies and I'm like, <laughs> people actually
actually like what I'm posting. And I feel so proud and so thankful for all of you that are subscribing. And I'm happy to see that you guys are liking what you're seeing. And a whole bunch of crazy and fun content is soon to be out. But let's keep it up and grow the little gang that we are coming into becoming. I don't know, it just makes me really happy and very proud since it's been like, what, four years that I've been on YouTube and I'm now growing, so. I like what I see and you're coming back and you're not ghosting me because I see that the analytics, the analytics don't match up. There's plenty of you watching, but plenty of you not subscribing. So unless you wanna, I can't fight for shit. I stand at 5'2". Actually, I take that back. I can. She can defend herself. But either way, thank you. God bless your soul. Shout out to you guys, the real OGs. But, um, okay, I'm sweating and I'm dying. And, um, I personally just want to sit down and eat watermelon. So, again, kisses to my bitches. See you in the next video. Stay hydrated, kids. Bye!